Checking sport now and a crash just before the finish line has marred the second stage of the Tour Down Under. Queenslander Jay McCarthy took out the stage and now holds the outright lead. Sprinter Caleb Ewan won yesterday's first stage but he wasn't rating his chances today. I think today's going to be a bit too tough for me so I, I think uh, we'll work for Garrow. The 21 year old was happy to help teammate Simon Guerin secure a stage win. It's a tricky stage to gauge this one, you can have fantastic legs and get a little bit caught out and that sprint finish. Three time tour winner Guerin's was the stage favourite as riders left Suburban Unley. But as they started the first of five laps around Stirling in the Adelaide Hills, Queenslander Adam Hansen launched a surprise attack. The 33-year-old fighting fatigue and stifling humidity to push out to a two-minute lead. Hansen held out until the final lap, but was caught with less than 20 kilometres to go. After 3,000 metres of climbing, there was one more incline to come, and with riders jostling for position, a number went down. Oh, there's a crash! A stall is down, two Orica have gone down there. Team Tinkoff's Jay McCarthy avoided the pile-up and surged late to narrowly beat Italian Diego Ulissi on the line. Even before the start, I was hoping that I'd get my chance on this stage and yeah, the team sat down before the, before the race and said they would support me today and I just, I'm just i glad I could deliver for them. He'll wear the leader's ochre jersey in tomorrow's 139km third stage from Glenelg to Campbelltown. And a good crowd turned out to see the final stage of the women's tour in Adelaide's Victoria Park last night. Kimberly Wells from the ACT claimed the stage, with Queenslander Katrin Garfoot's third placing enough to seal overall victory. Lucas Fonten, ABC News, Adelaide.